I'm a bit more relaxed today because I've been watching back my videos and I'm thinking just lay back girl, lay back, relax. Welcome back to Dean Movement's channel. Um, this is the channel where I bring awareness to lymphedema as someone who's living with it. Um, so today's video is a almost like a story time on the struggle of me getting my hands on compression stockings. It's been a whole roller coaster. Step! Oh, step! <laughs> so 2009, I've been diagnosed with lymphedema and I would have to visit the hospital every six months, so twice a year. Okay, if you have hospital appointments, don't miss your hospital appointments. Get yourself to the hospital, okay? I know it's long, I know it takes time, but it just has to be done. So I was, um, I was going to the hospital every six months and there was one time, I can't remember why, but there's one time I missed an appointment. You done messed up, A.A. Ross! And then I didn't hear back from the hospital. So it got to a point I'm thinking, nah, this, these stockings are not working. Why haven't I got a letter from the hospital yet? Called the hospital, hear them. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. My name's been taken off the list. I said, who? Me? My name. I missed one appointment. Like, but my name's been taken off the list. And they said, the night, the Linda, Linda's brilliant she's great Linda, honey honey look at look at this she told me I need to get back on the list i need to get be referred from my gp i thought okay sounds simple enough went booked an appointment to my gp this man went to this doctor got the appointment after like how many weeks you know if you know doctors it's very hard to get um, an appointment very soon. So I think after a couple of weeks, I got to the um, GP, explained everything, explained that I was on the list. Um, I was going to the hospital to be seen for my lymphedema. That's in my right leg. Um, it's primary, so it's not go going to go away. And um, I've had it for a long time. And I need to be referred back but they said I, it needs to be from my GP that refers me to the hospital. I thought it was, I was pretty clear. The doctor said, the GP said, he goes literally like this. Hmm, okay. But why do you need to be referred to the hospital? Can't you just get compression stockings over the counter? Kept my calm, um, so I said no. But I need hospital grade stocking because this isn't going away, and that they the material that they use is not the same as over the counter. Because but you can get compression stockings from anywhere. Have you tried John Lewis? Try John John Lewis. Does does he not know what this is? No, sir, Jamaica, I come from, I'm not really nice. That's why I'm not using something, I'm like my igloo on the roadside, you know. Because when you go, igloo not talk to you. You just take out or you take out and pee. So I said, do you know what? Let me try over the counter. So I bought some stockings over the counter. They slipped on. Now, if you know compression stockings, I'm hoping that my compression stockings come soon. They're meant to be on their way, but I don't know where they are. Um, but they slipped on. If you know compression stockings, they're not meant to be that um, that easy to get on. But these ones slipped on like socks. So I said, you know what, this is silly. So I went back to the doctor. Unfortunately, they gave me the same person. I didn't know that you can request not to have him, have a certain doctors. Um, so I went back. And I said, you know, I need to, um, please can I be referred because I've tried the overcounter stockings and they're not working. Actually, actually I'm, I'm actually seeing 
um, things get worse. So he goes, do you know what? Why don't I prescribe you from the chemist? You can pick them up from the chemist. Um, you'd have to go and get measured and everything. Um, I said, so I said, okay, let me try this one. Went to the chemist, but to be honest, I thought it was better because at least I'm getting measurements. It's not just one size fits all. At least I'm getting measured and it will fit my leg. Um, and then I thought, then they told me they don't have black, they only have um, nude. Oh, hell no! Obviously, nude was considered as like a beige, beige kind of colour. I said, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. I'm not taking those. You'll, you'll waste your time. You'd be wasting your time if you if you ordered me those. Then he says, okay, I can order the black ones, but they may take some time. I said, okay, let's let's just try it. Ordered them, went over there to get them um, to see if they fit, put them on, and I thought, no. This is worse than the what over the counter ones that I bought. So I try it and that's that was the point. At that point I thought I'm not gonna go back to the doctor because they're just gonna waste my time and it's just gonna be there's not gonna be any progression. So that's when I decided what can I do for myself to make myself feel better? What can I do to help me? So unfortunately, for some reason, I've lost the recording that I did, but I will just have to do some voiceover for you. So basically, I changed my diet, I became pescatarian, I stopped eating red meat, stopped eating pork, then stopped eating every other meat, um, started exercising, and then it got to a point where I thought I needed to have these compression stockings because things were getting bad. So I went back to the um, GP and saw a different doctor and this was a female she was really helpful um, and she just quickly did a referral I thought oh it was just that simple no surely not so I thought if it that was that simple then maybe I can try and get an allergy test that I've been trying to get for years just you know when the doctors say oh is there anything else I can help you with I said oh yeah 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 um I was wondering if I could get an allergy test is there is it possible for me to get an allergy test because I've had these really bad reactions and I've um, tried to cut those things out um, but I keep getting these reactions where I need to know what it is. I know it's, um, I'm allergic to raw apples um, but I'm not sure if it's the actual fruit or if it's the pesticides or the wax that they coat the fruit in. Um, and, I, and the same thing with cherries, I don't know but I have these really bad reactions. Um, then she started talking about, she said oh. I explain what happens. So when I get re allergic reaction, my tongue swells up, my throat starts to itch, my eyes start to itch, um, my eyes feel heavy, um, I get boils or bumps and blisters on my hand. I had blisters on my hands and my lips. It was really bad. I felt like Will Smith in Hitch. Then she started talking about EpiPen, I said, I said, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Then, then she said, oh, I need to speak to somebody and if they said, if they tell me that you need an EpiPen, I will get in touch. If not, then it's, it's all clear. So if I don't get in touch with you, then you don't need an EpiPen, but you just need to keep a diary. I'm like, why do everyone keep telling me to keep a diary? Diary's not going to stop me from getting these reactions and looking like a balloon. But yes, anyway, that didn't work. Oh man, what? you're just ruining it. You're ru look at my lips. You're ruining it, ruining. But I got the referral. A couple days later, I got. Um, I was contacted by the hospital saying we've got. Um, we've received your referral from your GP, and we'd like you to book an appointment with us to be seen by a doctor and then so 2011 I got taken off I was taken off the list my name was taken off the list and then 2000 and yeah 2011 and then maybe 2012 I got went to see the GP and they they were trying to tell me to buy over-the-counter stockings so that's 2012 
and then from 2012 to 2019 yep from 2012 to 2019 really it's 2011 because I hadn't been seen up from 2011 so 2011 to 2019 I had not had compression stockings so 2011 to 2019 eight years it took me to get these compression stockings yeah so but from when I got seen by the when I was referred back to the hospital I wanted to know different things about what I can and can't do or can and shouldn't do um, things like exercise because when I was doing my research it was saying light workout do a light workout what's a light workout okay that's kind of re relative so yeah so they answered all my questions I felt so happy got my compression stockings and I have not missed one hospital appointment yet although I've got one coming up Ooh, yes but I'm still waiting for my compression stockings <laughs> so yes that's not even all of it I, I really cut it down <laughs> just for the sake of not making this long video but guys thank you for watching the whole video I, I am so appreciative of your support if you would like you can check out the other videos to see you know get a little bit more information about lymphedema um, and yes I will see you next week I will be releasing a video every Friday Bye.